Good morning and Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope everybody's Christmas was wonderful. Mine, I am waiting on everybody to come downstairs. So I just thought that I would stop in and say Merry Christmas. I want to start off with saying I'm so grateful that all of you guys have joined my channel and I can't wait for so many more adventures in this new year to come. I plan on doing so much more with my channel and my family. So stay tuned and have a very, very Merry Christmas and safe holidays and a very Merry and Happy New Year and a safe New Year. See how they come? Look! Oh, what's that over there? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that a, is a, that a robot? robot? A robot. A robot. A robot. <laughs> a robot, yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is that? Is that a robot? It's a robot. Guys, get your stockings. A robot, she said. Hold on, Zara. Come here. I still wear that cologne. I know it smells so good. Oh, I think you need to open it. No. Yes, and I did. <laughs> what is that, Hara? <laughs> what is it, Mama? This Mac and cheese? Dude, this is the one I always use to sell for you. What is that, honey? <laughs> I know. What's the magic? No, 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 no. No magic this early in the morning. Because. <laughs> what is that a robot? Get it! Get the robot! Bring it here! Why did I get cold? <laughs> Y'all were bad, that's why you got cold when you're stocking. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that, Eli? Let me see. Your cologne? Whoa, what is that? I love these. She found a dice on the ground and she'd rather have that. <laughs> Sit her down right there. Right there. Oh, what is that, Zara? Two Shark, she said. Okay. That's Coco. Don't pull all the candy out. I don't want her to see it. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm gonna do this right now. Yeah, those you can pull out for her. <laughs> go pop candy. Oh no! Don't show her that. Pop. <laughs> where's the pop? She said. <laughs> you pulled it out, so where's the pop? <laughs> What is that? A candy. A candy. <laughs> you gotta open it with her. I'm Look at her. They have stuff in them. What's that, Hara? 
I got the Grinch. Hara, what is that? A rich shark. A shark. These gummy things are so good. Uh, the SpongeBob ones are so good. <laughs> is that a shark? Is that Daddy Shark? Do 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 do. That's Cocoa. You didn't do the thing where you put the salt. No. I know oh. on purpose. What? I know which one is yours. <laughs> I think it's chocolate. Yeah. Um, Bert, it's yours. It's chocolate. <laughs> oh. Um, is it? You gonna go show Daddy? <laughs> I did too. Dad. What's that? A unicorn badger mix. Beat that. A shark. <laughs> a shark. Well, hello. I want to start out with first apologizing for my voice because my voice has been going in and out and has been driving me crazy other than that i'm not sick or anything like that <laughs> so with that being said i hope everybody had a very very happy and merry christmas we had a very nice one as you can see the kids very much so enjoyed themselves and had a very good time what you guys are looking at is isabella she so we do a tradition where we hide i hide the pickle and they have to find the pickle each year and the first person who finds it gets to open excuse me i'm trying to recover gets to open the first gift so i'm like we'll show everybody that you found the pickle and so she gets to choose out the first gift and open the very first gift of hers and everybody has to watch. And then once that's done, everybody else can open their gifts. But we always watch the very first person open their gift, whoever found the pickle. Um, I keep yawning, goodness. So there goes Celso and Eli. They're like, okay, you opened yours. Now I get to open mine. <laughs> um, we had a very good Christmas. Daddy, what he was trying to do right there was there's these Chinese drinks that have like marbles in them. I keep yawning, guys. Um, they have marbles in them. And so what you do is you pop the marble inside of the drink. And um, after you do that, you can drink it and the marble is safe inside it's not a choking hazard or anything like that um although as a parent you'd be like oh my gosh don't drink a marble but you're really not drinking it um and then i got elijah we always get him like one snack gift like a funny gift and elijah kept on eating my fruit roll-ups this year and i like to have those on hand just to give me a little burst of sugar and so i just ended up buying him a whole box and I was like, okay, now you can stay out of mine, leave my stuff alone, don't touch it. <laughs> um, and they were gone within like the first day. No joke. I think that the kids were more excited to watch the baby open her gifts because this is the first year that she's actually like into it into it and I think out of all of the holidays so far I think her favorite has to be Christmas um so I think, I mean, she really, really enjoyed it. She didn't like when the paper got stuck to her feet, but she really enjoyed it. Uh, what is one thing that you guys get your kids? Let me know below. Is there like a funny gift or do you guys wrap in certain ways? When I was younger, we used to get presents that were wrapped in like... <laughs> Uh, tampon boxes or pad bags and um, what else dog food boxes or bags and we would be like what is this so um, it was like a funny gift and then the real gift was inside so the boys got these super large gun things um, and the honey was like oh yes I need one of these <laughs> um, 
so we just i mean we had an incredible morning it was fun i was looking at elijah i would see that's that mom thing like ah, don't drink a marble but there's really no way for the marble to come out um and i did get some of those for my stepdaughters as well um they spend the holidays at their mom's house but we always do get them gifts and we get you know I always make them goodie bags or stockings and stuff like that so this year I thought it would be a fun thing to put those Chinese drinks I don't know it's like all the rage with the kids right now and I think it has to do like I said with that marble but oh that my little pony has that long hair the baby is infatuated with it she loves hair and doing hair her auntie does her daddy's sister does hair and she absolutely loves hair I went to school also to do hair so I think it kind of runs through both sides um Belle loves doing hair as well so I mean I went and got my cosmetology license and everything but daddy Belle got daddy a gift and it is her all the way and I'm gonna say this and hopefully some of you don't you know think it's inappropriate but if you do oh well that's life it says I know I'm not from your sack but I know you'll always have my back <laughs> so that was incredible and he loved it he's like why don't you show everybody what you guys what you got babe he gave me a wad of cash <laughs> um i was like i don't want cash go shopping for me and he's like i didn't have time to go shopping so but then what else she got him was she got him two keychains and i don't remember what they say i think it goes along the lines of it says oh this is daddy handing out hundred dollar bills um that's what his christmas gift was to everybody he's like i'm not shopping for you guys mom can do the shopping i'm giving you money leave me alone he did that with all seven kids um but uh the keychain i think it says something along the lines of oh the baby was playing <laughs> she's like mom pretty camera pretty <laughs> um i think it says something along the lines of um i know dna makes you blood or something like that but you are my father i don't exactly know what it what it is uh, or what it says but i'll put a, po a picture right here okay i found a picture it says it's not flesh and blood but the heart that makes us father and daughter and they each get one for their house and car keys and um he absolutely loved it he's like i love it so much bell thank you the boys they're not so ooey gooey like that but i mean they're boys it is what it is and they're not very good at expressing their feelings and i know one day they will be but as of now this is just what it is um and what we're doing here is i always make the kids i'm like okay it's time to clean once you open your gifts it's time to clean up i'm so ocd about it like there's the big box you can see i left the big box in the kitchen and then i'm like all right empty out my stockings do not take those upstairs i don't want them lost <laughs> so i made them clean up and they they have to take all of their belongings upstairs ring hang up their you know their stockings and then they are good for the day they are able to play with their toys do what they would like with their toys what elijah is what he's doing is he got some puzzles those like puzzles that are on youtube that people try and do um he got that so and i don't know if you've noticed but we do have a theme that goes in our house daddy is always the grinch every year and so i found the boys grinch pjs and mine izzy's and the baby's pjs all match so we are all match and it's kind of just like goes in with the theme so he definitely wants to get the whole grinch costume are you sitting with daddy they're watching football say woohoo touchdown yeah. touchdown <laughs> Good job. Good job.
Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> All right, so what is, do you guys have a go-to tradition breakfast that you do every Christmas morning? Um, we don't, and so the, I do always make waffles with no matter what I'm going to make, um, but we don't really have like a one designated item that, I, I guess you could say that that's designated. I always make waffles for um, Christmas morning. Waffles are pancakes. But this morning, I'm trying out my new Dash um, waffle makers. So I wanted to color my waffles certain colors so that way they would stand out. So... That's what I went ahead and did. I got all my stuff prepared and ready to go. And instead of me talking your ear off right now, I'm just going to put a little Christmas music on. And you guys can listen to that. And I will be back because if I don't, I will talk your ear off. So I do like to use these color mill. Um, they are for more like chocolate, like white chocolate coloring chocolate and stuff, but they're very, very pigmented. They are pretty pricey, so you can go with regular food coloring, but they are, as you can see, are very pigmented once you get everything mixed in. Um, so I just went ahead and I used these and I made sure that I mixed everything in really, really well and washed my little thing in between. The green does take a moment. You gotta keep, keep going and add a few drops more. Um, but other than that, it turns really, really, really green. And as you can see, it turned out incredible. So I went ahead and made my brown and everything else. And before I get started on my waffles, I wanted to put my sausage on the stove. So what I'm doing here is I am just going to open up and put a little bit of oil and then I'm gonna open up my sausage and throw those in. And I'm gonna let those fry for a couple seconds. And I didn't record the next part, but I always add like maybe a fourth a cup of water in with them. And then I put the lid on so that way they can steam. And this is just leftover turkey sausage and leftover chicken sausage that I had. So I just went ahead and I used whatever we have left over. Um, guys you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of expensive stuff just because it's a holiday uh, go ahead and make what you have and this is what we had so that's what we used and i did not realize that we had bacon everybody kept telling me we have bacon we have bacon but i didn't realize it until and i i guess i just didn't listen i didn't pay attention i'm like well whatever so that's what we made. Okay, so as you can see in the background, I always add a little splash of vanilla to all of my waffles and pancakes and um, like everything that I make that's like that, even my French toast. Um, I do prefer the Mexican vanilla and that is because it does give it a lot more flavor. So the first one is a gingerbread man and then the second one you will see here is a snowflake. They were very hot guys. <laughs> um, and then we have here, what do you think this one's gonna be? 
Yes, a Christmas tree. It was so wonderful. I loved it. Um, I just went ahead and I just continued on and I wanted to try it without spraying it. Maybe it wouldn't like do it so you know brownish like some of those came out but they turned out wonderful this is our breakfast spread i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope that you guys had a merry christmas i know that we did and i'm so grateful for all of you guys and i can't wait for the new year and i'm praying that i can get some new subscribers on here did you get a gingerbread man and a snowflake and then you got whipped cream you got whipped cream and a sausage. <laughs> Is that good? Mmm, that's yummy. Mmm, is that magic? She says it's ice cream. Is that magic? He's still wide open. Now. He said all the attention. You see how open he was? Hello. It's like Kelsey gets all the attention. He ranks the middle. Hello. Like it's nobody was near him. Yum, yum, wow. yum. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an incredible new year. Don't forget, you're not perfect, I'm not perfect and that is perfectly okay on my channel. We'll see you guys in the new year. Bye-bye.